today we're at my parents' house. I'm planting up a new flower bed. I thought that would be a really fun and sweet thing to do for my mom for Mother's Day. This is an established bed. I picked up some flowers and plants at my local garden center. This bed gets a lot of shade throughout the day and in their neighborhood they have tons of deer that come and eat just about everything. So I spent a long time doing a lot of research to find the most deer resistant plants in our area that can tolerate more shade. So if you know any shade tolerant, deer resistant varieties, comment them down below. We're always looking for new varieties to plant that can handle it and keep the deer away. So I didn't pick up a ton of things. I'm only doing this first bed. If everything works out and all these plants are here tomorrow and in the next coming weeks, then we'll know that the deer are going to leave these plants alone and maybe we'll plant another bed with some of these. So I was just going to get these planted and then I'll give you a quick tour and show you everything that I planted. Okay, I got everything planted and I wanted to take you through and show you some of the varieties that I picked out. Again, not 100% sure this is actually gonna work out and it's gonna keep the deer away, but I just wanted to show you what I planted, show you the varieties, so that way if you also are dealing with deer or maybe you just think some of these are pretty, then you'll have them. I'll also list them down below um, for spelling. So this is the front view if you were at the street, so I wanted to create kind of two focal points so that way you could 
have a view when you're coming into the neighborhood and then another view when you're standing over there if you were walking into the house or out of the house. So right up front, I planted a small drift of verbena. This is the hot pink variety. Full sun. Here's some more specks. Back planted, I have three Russian sage. Those are gonna be purple blooms. It's a perennial, so plant it once, low maintenance, drought resistant, supposed to be deer resistant, fingers crossed. Then I have another drift of Dusty Miller up here. And behind that, I have a white butterfly bush. So it's a white profusion butterfly bush. It's a perennial, hardy for the zones five through nine. So we'll see. And it's just starting to get some blooms to develop. No color on them yet, they're still green. And then I have an exact identical twin to it right over there. And let me go on the other side of the bed. Here's the other view. So this is if you were coming out of the front of the house or walking in. So those are those butterfly bushes, the, ver the hot pink verbena back there, and then the Dusty Miller that we just looked at. Here are two more Dusty Miller. I did leave some tags out so we could look at the variety really quick. So this variety is silver dust. And then I have a small drift of some salvia. But look how sweet these little blooms are. And I have a white drift of some white verbena. Some more Dusty Miller. And then this was a unique verbena mix that they had. It's called the Serendipity Mix. So these get much taller. Whereas your typical other verbena actually kind of spreads out like a ground cover. So I thought that was unique, so I picked up three of those. And then over here, I have another little cute drift of some blue verbena. Aren't these blooms so pretty? So I'm pretty hopeful for the bur verbena. It does have a texture to the leaves, so I'm thinking that's gonna deter deer. So I finished getting everything planted. Hopefully everything is as deer resistant as it's supposed to be, and we can actually keep some color in this bed. Fingers crossed, but I think it's a perfect opportunity for me to grab my mom and show her what we planted. Well, what do you think? I think it's fantastic. Just the pop of color we needed, and hopefully the deer will not be eating the plants. We'll see you in the morning. Well, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and comment down below what um, your favorite deer-resistant plants are to grow. We're always looking for more. I had a fun time planting this for Mother's Day. I think it was a sweet surprise, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I'll plant with you later.